and of my old friend. This will be a night to remember. Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be about Pipes of Middle Earth. Now those of you who followed me here from my previous channel, Pipe Wizard 86 will know that pipe smoking is one of my many hobbies. And what originally attracted me to the hobby was the really cool wooden stem pipes from the Lord of the Rings movies. As you can see, I've acquired a bit of a collection of them along the way. And I used to get a lot of emails asking where can I get a good Gandalf or Hobbit style pipe. So I thought with the new Hobbit movie coming out soon, now would be a good time to upload a video and give you guys a bit of information on where you can get some Lord of the Rings style pipes, the different styles, what kind of price you're looking at and the quality you're going to get. I've got a few to show you here today, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my McQueen pipes. Now, McQueen's is a company out of Canada that specialises in wooden stem pipes. Um, I did make a video a while ago on my old channel called The Truth About McQueen Pipes, and that wasn't very complimentary at all. And that's because they had the worst customer service I've ever came across. You know, a lot of customers were waiting a year or more for the pipes. Uh, when you get them, they don't look as good as they did on the pictures. They just completely ignore your emails. But I don't want to get into too much detail about that. Since I've made that video, they do seem to have improved. The reviews have got a bit better. They have a much bigger selection of pipes. They have different types of wood you can get. And they even have guaranteed to ship within 48 hours on certain pipes. So hopefully they have improved. I won't be ordering from them again just because of my experience. But, you know, by all means, do go check them out. First up is the McQueen Wizard. This is McQueen's take on the Gandalf pipe. And it's 15 inches in total. It's available with a briar or cherry wood bowl. And possibly a different type of wood as well. Now, I'm not sure on that. It has gone up a bit in price since I ordered it, and I think this now goes to around $79. The quality of it isn't as good as what it looks in the picture, and you will find the mouthpiece is always a bit frayed with the McQueen's. The wood looks a bit tatty, but that does kind of add to the rustic look. It's quite comfortable, has a fairly decent draw. Only thing you want to be aware of with the McQueen's is you want to make sure you're packing them lightly. Otherwise, you just you won't be able to get a good light, and the pipe will keep going out. But it's a fairly decent pipe. It looks cool. So that's the McQueen Wizard. This next pipe is the McQueen Ranger. Based on Aragorn's pipe from Lord of the Rings, this one is a bit shorter at 10 inches. It's also a bit cheaper and this one goes for $69. Again, it's available in both briar or cherry wood. And it's a pretty nice pipe. Again, you want to make sure you're always packing the McQueen's lightly. That goes for pretty much any McQueen. But yeah, it's a good piece to add to your collection, especially if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings. One more thing I wanted to mention about the McQueen pipes is the stems are detachable. And they have this aluminium bit to attach them with. This next one is my Fluggleworks Hobbit pipe. These pipes are excellent value for money, going at around 20 to 30 US dollars. They are 100% wood, but they do have a detachable stem. Uh, this is a maple stem on a myrtle wood bowl, and it's actually unsmoked, though I am looking forward to smoking this, because there's a very unusual musty kind of smell to the bowl, so it'll be interesting to see if that adds any flavour to the tobacco. You can get your name engraved for free on these pipes. That's actually the Elvish for Paul. So, I haven't smoked this yet, but I've heard nothing but great reviews about these. And for the price, you can't go wrong. So check out Fluggleworks. This next pipe I'm about to show you was made by a new pipe maker called Stephen Dages and he's the founder of Davidson Pipes. This is his take on Gandalf's pipe from Lord of the Rings. Not the one from The Hobbit which sucked in comparison but the original Gandalf pipe from the Lord of the Rings films. And let me tell you, it is identical. You can't get any closer than this. His work on this is just superb. It comes in this really cool felt sheath. And uh, Anyway, that's enough rambling, let me show it to you guys. That's the one, isn't it? This goes for around $79, and it is worth every penny. 
It's lightweight and it's got an excellent quality stamp. It's not frayed at all like the McQueen, so you can clench it easy. It's quite strong. The bowl is a little bit small, so you can't get too long of a smoke out of it, but you can still get a good 20 minute, half hour smoke. Again, the stem is detachable. Excellent tight fit on this. It's got this brass bit to connect the stem to the bowl. I just love how perfect and graceful the bend is on this stem. He's done a superb job of matching it. And that is about as close as you can get to Gandalf's pipe for a very reasonable price. I've done a full video review of this pipe on my other channel and I will link the video below so you can go check that out. But I'm going to show you the last pipe I'm going to show you today, which is the exact replica of Gandalf's pipe by Vaughan. Last up, the Vaughan Gandalf pipe. Now this is the official replica of Gandalf's pipe from Lord of the Rings. It comes in this really cool box from Elvis Wrighton on the side. I won't go into too much detail about it because once again I have reviewed this pipe on my old channel and I will link the video below. So if you want any further detail you can go and take a look at that. Comes in this cool uh, pipe sock. And here it is. Now while this pipe isn't actually as accurate as my Davidson pipe, Gandalf pipe, it's probably one of the best quality pipes in my collection. It's got a perfect finish on the wooden stem. Really nice quality briar bowl with some um, lovely grain in there. The drawer is outstanding. This pipe I believe is about 12 and a half inches long. And it's just absolutely superb quality. It's got a detachable stem. It can take a filter if you wish to put one in there. It has a small acrylic bit on the end that blends perfectly with the wood and that's just for hygiene. And this is just a fantastic pipe. It's a very rare piece. Now, when I got this, it was just under $200. I think it was $190. Now you're going to be looking at paying, if you can find one of these, over a thousand for it because they're so rare. But I'm really happy I have this in my collection. If you do manage to find one, if you're a big fan of Lord of the Rings, it probably is worth paying the money for. It's a fantastic pipe and it looks so cool. Uh, the box actually doubles up as a stand for it as well. Pop it in there just like that. Now, if you can't find one of the original Vaughan replica pipes from Lord of the Rings, they have actually released a new series called Owen Land or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. But they're Lord of the Rings style. They have the wooden stems. They're not exact replicas of anything in particular, but they do look Middle Earth style. And they're going to be excellent quality just like this. I would highly recommend checking them out. They go for around $200, so it depends what your budget is. But if you want a decent quality wooden stem pipe, definitely go check out the new Vaughan series. A couple of last things I wanted to mention before I end this video is there's a couple of pipe makers that I've never personally ordered from but I hear great things about so I think they're worthy of a mention. First one is Luna Pipes. Now that's another wooden stem company but they don't have detachable stems so that kind of puts me off. They do have some cool designs including a very long church warden that's like 18 inches long. So do go check them out. I've heard quite good reviews about them. Uh, and lastly, pipesbydesign.com. Now, I don't know what this pipe maker's name is, but he has some of the most outstanding artwork I have ever seen on pipes. I highly recommend you go check him out, and he's high on my list to get one of his pipes when I have the spare cash. His work is absolutely unreal. I've actually got a few pictures of some of his pipes uh, featured on a video I put up on my old channel called uh, Cool and Unusual Pipes. I'll link those down below so you can go check them out. There will be links to websites so you can check out all the pipes I've mentioned in this video today. And go and pick one up yourself. If you have any other questions, do feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye for now.